start off by thanking each and every one of you because it wasn't for folks like yourself showing up, helping out on campaigns, door knocking, putting up signs. I wouldn't be here, neither would my great colleagues uh, be here, so we're very, very grateful. And, you know, I, I just want to say, I'm going to start at the end. Uh, I, the Minister of Energy, bringing energy to our great province. We are a nuclear energy powerhouse around the world. We can deliver energy all the way far south as Florida and sell our great energy. I just met with the uh, governor of New Jersey before I came here. And all the U.S., they need, they need energy. We have the energy. We're going to continue building on our energy capacity with a great leadership of Stephen Lecce. Hey, hey, hey. The Minister of Education for Life and the Escape from Education. Now he's the Energizer Bunny because he's bringing energy to uh, not only Ontario, but all over Quebec and down to the U.S. Nina. I always say what an incredible salesperson Nina is. You know, she's out there talking to small businesses and, and, and making sure that they thrive. The number you gave me, was it over half a million small businesses? Yeah, about 465,000. 465,000. I think there was 70,000 companies registered last year. Yeah. And here's another super salesperson. Deepak is the hardest working MPP we have down there. He loves, you know he, he loves sending me pictures of canvassing and going to companies and he sends them to me every day. I never got one in the last couple of days, but I, I thought, I thought. no, and he, and he called me, he goes, do you want me to stop sending them to you? I said, no, keep sending me those pictures because I love seeing you out there in the community, but I'll tell you, all of you are doing an incredible job. I wouldn't be here either if it wasn't for an incredible team. And I want to give a shout out. Um, to some really close friends of our, our party and our community here are the great firefighters. You guys are champs. The bylaw officers beside him and our incredible police right over there, the good looking guy with the back to us. Uh, the there he is. Oh, yeah, they're all good. They're pointing at each other. Anyways, we're just blessed to have our, our frontline uh, folks there. You know, you look at six years ago, six years ago when we came into office, a little over six, six years and two months, you know, we walked into a province that had 300,000 jobs chased out of our province. Companies were leaving, people were losing their jobs, high energy costs, high uh, red tape and regulations, taxes, the whole shebang, and that's why companies were leaving. Let's move forward, let's move forward six years. There's over 800,000 more people working today than there was six years ago. That's 800,000 people getting a better job and a bigger paycheck. And I told, them, I told our great uh, friends, I love the U.S. and New Jersey governor that came over. I said, Governor, last year, Ontario created more manufacturing jobs than all 50 U.S. states combined. Think of that. That's a massive, massive number. 160,000 jobs so far this year. We're attracting more and more companies. We're the number one location anywhere in the world for EV production, meaning battery manufacturing or EV vehicles. Think of this, we, we have five of the largest auto manufacturers in the world right here in Ontario. No one else in, in the world has in one jurisdiction five of the largest manufacturers when it comes to EV. We saw Volkswagen invest $7 billion, building the fourth largest building in the world, the largest battery plant in North America. And we thought, wow, how can we top that? Sure enough, Honda comes along with a $15 billion investment right here in, in Ontario, making sure there's reciprocal jobs that run off those plants, no matter if it's here in Mississauga, which is a huge manufacturing area in our province, creating more jobs there as, as well. In the tech sector, we're seeing it growing faster than anything, over 365% faster than uh, Silicon Valley and San Francisco Bay Area. We've seen over $5 billion invested in life sciences and pharmaceutical. We're gonna keep attracting business. I just talked to the Minister of Economic Development, Vic Fidelli, 
and he's figuring this year alone we will hit fifty billion dollars of new investment. We're at about forty-five billion. There's more companies coming on board all over the world, building the largest transit system in North America right now. We're expanding hospitals, and guess what, Mississauga has going to have the largest hospital in all of Canada. That's over twelve billion dollars on on three sites. We're expanding long-term care as well, pouring money into infrastructure like Highway 413 and the Bradford Bypass, alleviating alleviating the traffic jams everywhere. Everywhere you go, there's traffic jams, but we're going to alleviate that by building more highways and creating the environment and the conditions for companies to come here and thrive and prosper and grow. My friends, I want to thank you for coming out today. We are forever grateful. And my number one message to our team is never forget your roots, never forget where you came from, and always, always take care of your community. Be out there door knocking all the time. And I know these three champions never stop door knocking. I gotta watch that bee. I have a habit of eating bees. But uh, anyways, my friends, thank you. God bless each and every one of you. We're so grateful.